Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. And have you ever found yourself drowning in doilies? Did you ever think when you went to the craft show, craft show, when you went to the thrift shop, uh, you just had to have all the doilies you could find? Well, apparently that, that was me, yes. I had to have them in every color, every shape, every, you know, Valentine ones, you name it, I grabbed it. And uh, if you got a pile of doilies, Easter egg doilies. Oh my goodness. Um, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> um, maybe I have uh, some help. I have some help that might get you through this pile a little bit. And so I was sitting here thinking, what on earth can we do with doilies? Um, so I came up with a few ideas and I thought I'd show them to you. Okay, let me move my, my pile of doilies over yonder so we have some elbow room here and uh, we get to play with the papers. Um, so if you're in the mood to play with the papers, come on along for the ride. All right, here we go. All right, got a clean deck. Oh, minus one doily. All right, so let me show you a few ideas. Um, these are a couple I what, what are you doing all off kilter? I, I told you to stay away from the sauce. Yeah, okay. I need to tighten something on my little holder here. What, oh, that. Oh, I see what it is. Not you. Sorry. Sorry, it was me. Yes, 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 yes. No, not in the sauce. Huh. Oh, we're still recording? I think so. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Something weird just happened, but we're back, so we're carrying on as if all is well. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Zoom. All right, so I have a few things to show you. Um, I made this little uh, guy, and he's still wet, so I'm being very careful, but basically there's a little um, tag in here. Oh, it's going to be a disaster. Uh, uh, uh. And it says Inspire on the back, and it is in pink black ink because I didn't wash my ink, uh, my stamp, and I got black with the um, when I put it in the pink. So that's how that happened. And then I just, of course, yes, I put some. Uh, this was Nuo uh, What was it? Nuovo drops, I think so. Yes, or liquid pearls, one of the other. And um, so I'm just going to put that back over there. And that was made out of a heart doily. So we're gonna make that one. I believe this was also made out of a heart doily. And uh, it just has a little card up here that um, can re be removed. It also, no, it has nothing on the back because I, I forgot. Yeah, okay, well, we're, we're, we'll fix that. <laughs> and uh, so this can be glued onto a page as a little pocket or a tuck. And let's put that over there. Then I played with this one. This was a circle one. Whoop, can you see, let me back you out a little bit. Um, and I just folded it not in half, but like one third, two thirds, and I made like a double tuck. So that can be glued onto a page. Um, it can be glued here, and uh, then you can tuck back here, or you can glue this entire back piece down and just use it as a single tuck. Okay, a um, couple options there. Uh, the other way you could use it is you could glue it this way and make it like a pocket this way and a tuck that way. Okay, so there are a lot of options you have there. Um, all right, there's that guy. Oh, and if you find your uh, doilies are too floppy, what I did with this was, one was instead of just grabbing one doily, I probably grabbed about three and I didn't separate them all. You know how they kind of come compressed together? Uh, they did pop apart a bit here, so I just ran a bead of glue where they were coming apart and now they're together forever, never to be separated. So um, you have options. Yes, yes, we do. Okay, I've got a few other things I made over here. Let me show you. All right, this is my version of a, I call it the burrito, uh, but basically it's, um, you just fold the two sides of a circle in and we'll, we're going to go ahead and make these together. So I'm just showing you all the different prototypes first to so, show you what we have. But uh, let me just bring it up a little closer. And this was, um, I'm not really that fond of the doilies with the little uh, patterns on them, but I thought, how can I work with the pattern where it can be something that I could actually enjoy? And I found that uh, exposing more of the white here and here with just a little bit of the color, I liked. I could roll with that. Yeah. And then I just put a sticker across the front to easily adhere it. And then I can glue this down onto a page and I could put maybe a nice piece of writing paper, a folded writing paper in there. That would be very nice. Um, and we will do that before the day's end. Uh, here is a circular doily turned into a pocket and you could actually have uh, one pocket depending on how you glue it. This could be your one pocket 
And the, but if you only glue it like this, a U shape in the back, then you would also have this pocket back here as well. So that's entirely up to you. Now, some doilies are more fragile than others. So you have to kind of decide if your doily can take the heat or not. Um, so decide on your thickness and see what you think. And here's just a bigger one. I had some uh, big, uh, really, I'm not fond of these red ones, but I folded it into this cute little um, uh, pocket, if you will. And uh, all of a sudden now I've got this, um, it's not so bad because there's some, uh, what I call white or pink space here and uh, with the red and it doesn't seem so in your face red, but I could chuck a whole nest of things in there and that would be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and, oh, I got one more to show you. Um, I had a gold round circle doily. So I made this little envelope. It has a little button on the front. I thought it was very fancy. Reminds me of Marie Antoinette and her gilded things. And then inside here, I put a little, uh, just a little, uh, this is a piece of card, um, scrapbook paper, that heavier stuff, double-sided, and I had some left over, so I just made a cute little tuck card in there that can go inside, be tucked away. So there's a lot of fun things you can make with doilies, and, uh, you know, so don't be down on your doilies, all right? You just, you just stiff up or lip it, and you grab your doilies, and you bring them over to your table, and you say, hey, you have possibilities so let's let's make some of these this will be fun and easy and uh, we're going to use up some of those supplies that have just been collecting <laughs> okay so let's move this and let's see let, let's see let's start with what everybody probably has it's just a regular doily this is probably standard size doily um, um doilies come in all different widths and, and or diameters i don't know it's probably an eight inch doily um and this is the red one. I'm not, I don't use a lot of red in my designs, but uh, red is really nice if you like to do country journals or uh, Valentine journals. Um, it can also, also be amped up or knocked down. You can do romantic journals or, um, did I say Valentine journals? Yeah, Valentine journals. <laughs> And uh, okay, so basically all I did was I did the old envelope fold, which is uh, here, just bringing in the sides and you can decide on the width, totally up to you. And I'm, I guess I'm just going to bring it to the edge of the circle, just a little bit of the edge. It's probably a good idea to make it equi, you know what I mean? Equal on both sides. Okay, that's not exactly equal, but that's okay. Yeah. And then we just flip this up to as however high we want it. You can keep it lower. You can go higher. Totally up to you. And um, let me show you how these are, I think, the same ones, but look how different they look just depending on how I folded it. So that can kind of give you an idea. Keep it wide, keep it narrow. Are these the same size or am I just, am I making that up? Oh, I glued it. Can't tell you. Sorry. Um, I think those are only one size though. So, all right, so what I did to glue it, I'm using Fabrifix glue. You can use any glue you want for this. A wet white glue would be just fine. I'm using Fabrifix glue, which is um, uh, clear silicone glue, uh, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And no, I am not sponsored by Fabrifix. I just like the glue. Um, but I get a lot of questions about it, so that's why I try and uh, give you guys this information. And uh, there we go. Um, but you know, like I said, Elmer's will work. You just have to probably hold it for a few seconds longer and it might warp your paper just a little bit where the silicone glue kind of, uh, doesn't have as much water in it. Um, it's more like a liquid plastic. Um, okay. So there we go and we're done. Yeah. That wasn't so bad, right? That was pretty easy. Um, so that's one that's out of a circle. Okay. So now I'll show you this one, which is another circle, pretty much the same thing. I think the circle's a little bit smaller. Uh, not a big fan of the polka dots here. Green and I guess this might be Christmas stuff. Um, but I thought, you know, how could I make it? So I would like to use it someday. And when there were that many polka dots looking at me, I was, I was, uh, you know, my toes were curling backwards. But uh, no, not that far over. Uh, just I'm just gonna fold a little bit of the the edge of the middle part and a little bit of the edge of the little part and i think if you do stuff that's about the average journal if you do uh your embellishments keep them four inches or narrower you can probably go up to five five and a half inches but um if you, if you kind of work around that four inch mark you're probably safe uh, it'll fit on most pages. And if it doesn't fit one way, you can always turn it sideways. That's kind of the, the secret backdoor deal. Yeah. And, um, all right. So let's just glue this one down. Didn't glue it exactly straight, but that's okay. All right. There we go. Holly's in fine form tonight. Yes. He said, uh, I totally noticed that you're doing a video mom and I am going to let the world be known that I am here. Yes. Yes. Holly is here. Everybody. Holly is here <laughs> and he's doing fine and uh, okay so we have that one and 
Let me just put that guy over there. Um, let me show you who do we have next. All right, let's do the hearts next. Let's see if I have another heart. Did I use all my hearts? I don't think so. I got a ton of these things. Okay, going through the pile. Going through the pile. Going through the pile. I got a little heart. Going through the pile. Easter eggs. Haven't quite figured out what to do. Oh, here they are. Here's some hearts. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you will find heart doilies out there in the world. Weddings, things like that. So a couple different ways you can uh, fold the heart doily. Um, the first one we'll do is the classic envelope style uh, fold here. So basically you want to turn it upside down so the point is at the top. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bring in your sides. Bring in the sides. Okay, try and make this one a little wider. Try and do them the same on either side if you can. I know it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you'll, you'll be all right. It's only paper. And then fold it up, and that will create your little envelope design. Okay, got that? Can you see? I'm going to like way far away for you guys. Sorry. Okay. You want to see that again? So I just brought it on in, and then I'm folding up. And then I'm going to put my glue here and here. That way I know I always stay where the glue should be. If I put it here, I might go too high, and then I might have glue res residue at the top. So I don't want to do that. I want to put it on this thing that I'm going to stick. So that is going to go there. And I don't mind that it flays over a little bit. That's okay. That's okay in my world. Um, okay, so, and then with these... I put a few, let's try some Nouveau Drops this time. This is in the lovely color Crystal Drops Raspberry Pink. Okay. And we'll just dot away. Oh, I missed one there. I don't know if that's the same color. I don't think so. Um, that's okay. So down up, down up, whoop, down up, down up. Down up is the technique, at least how I do it. Um, I don't think down up is official. That's just me. Um, down up, down up, down up down up and you can, these go pretty fast like once you, once you kind of get it and you're rolling with it then you're like oh yeah I got this I totally got this I am down upping mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all right I just put a dollop there a dollop there I'll just put a little extras and I'll put these aside to dry okay so isn't that cute and then I can put all sorts of little cutie things in there and stuff it till um, my heart's content okay so that is the upside down of the heart of it all so now I'm going to show you the other heart, what you can do. It looked like this. Pretty simple uh, thing as well. Um, just leave that there. Grab another heart. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We are going to put the point at the top. Uh, but instead of folding in the sides, we're going to bring these little heart ears in. Okay, so actually I'm going to turn it over because I want the, the finished side on the... Uh, outside. Okay. Like the side you're supposed to show. Okay. And we're done. Okay. Yeah, that was tough, huh? I know. Um, so we just need a little dollop of glue. And you could actually use a sticker or something here to glue it together. Maybe we'll try that because it's different. All right. Let me try that. We'll find a sticker. Hang on. I got about a billion of them here. Hang on. They're not far. Okay. There's some little stickers. Might be too big. Yeah. Okay. Um, a little, that's kind of pretty. It might be a little small. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, she's cute. Would you want to go on there? But now you're, you've got a white background, so we want something with. That's pretty. Okay. We would do that. It's nice. Okay. That's very subtle. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the sticker from the backing. Can you see what I'm doing? Am I floating around? Sorry. Am I in shock? Oh, I'm not even in shock. Sorry. Let me do that again. Okay. So here is the thing, and I'm going to put that there. So let's say I didn't glue it. I could use the sticker to adhere it. Yes. Okay. So I got it. These are a little thicker. Thicker stickers. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. And there we go. All right, so we have that, and you may, you may think that's done, that's fine as it is. You don't need to do any more, but you could if you wanted to. And what might you do if you wanted to? Well, maybe you want to put a word on it or something. And let me just grab a word of some sort. Any word will do. Um, what do I got? Wrong color. 
Okay, let's see. How, oh, you know what? Let's use something from the DigiKit because these colors go together. Oh, breathe in nature. How about there's a good one? Okay, breathe in nature. It's kind of got like that greeny, bluish, naturey kind of background color. Let's put that on there. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've collected my, uh, my words all in a pouch. I made a magazine pouch the other day. I can't really see it. Hang on. Boop. Did I get it? Oh, no. Okay, there. Oh, okay. See it? Anyway, I got all my words in here, which makes it a lot easier to find my words because they were sort of all loose and over the, all over the place. But now I'm organized. Okay, let me put a little inking with uh, walnut stain distress ink here. Okay, maybe we'll just put that there. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. It's a glue stick. This is Scotch Create glue stick. It's a great glue stick. It's a permanent glue stick. And um, if you're looking for any tools and supplies, they're in my Amazon shop below the, in the description box below the video is the link to the Amazon shop. And you click on that and you can see everything all in one place. Okay, I keep trying to add stuff for you guys so you can uh, find the stuff you're looking for. Okay. And uh, okay, there we go. We have that. Now we could do more. We could do inking. I don't know. Do I want to do inking? I don't know. Let's try it. Just to give it a little bit of emphasis. What are we on time? Okay, we're okay. I have time to ink. Yes, it's okay. Breathe. Okay. Then we'll just ink the top part and not the rest. Just to give it a little distinction from itself. And then I can go ahead and, and tuck little uh, cuties in. I haven't backed that yet, but maybe I would put something on there. And uh, then they would have a little surprise when they uh, would open it up. Okay, I moved far away and you're good. All right. So I, again, I would put something like this here. <laughs> and then when they pull it out, they have a little surprise of something else. So that's kind of fun, right? And you could also add liquid pearls or um, Nouveau drops to put some extra dots on here. And all of a sudden, it's very warm in here. And I'm going to take off my little sweater. Okay, there we go. Much better. And... Uh, all right, so you're all good. You're all good. We did you. Let's put you over there. All right, let's do... Oh, let me back up. Boop. Burrito. Okay, burrito's very easy. If you have any circles, you can make burritos. You just want to watch your height to make sure you don't go taller than your journal. Most of my journals are around the 9-inch height, and this one is approximately, looks like a 7-inch doily. This was a 7-inch doily. Um, but, you know... You, do, you can do other whatever you want. Um, although you might have to trim it if it's too long. Just kind of know that. Okay, here's one of those. Is that the same? Yeah, that looks like the same height. Okay, so here's like a, I don't know, like a springtime or birthday or something like that. Um, and remember, you can always go on the other side if it's, it's too much, um, you know, color on one side. You can do that or you, you can just leave the color and go for it. Okay, so there I have my doily. And you could double these up too, so they're a little thicker, like keep two together. That might not be a bad idea if there's going to be somebody rummaging in and out of here because you don't know how delicate people are with paper stuff. Um, okay, so let's just fold in one side, maybe going close to the middle or just beyond it. And be delicate with your doilies now. And this one here, same thing, just gentle and delicate. Okay, now we need to put a little sticker or something there. There's the pile of stickers. Okay. And these are great if uh, I got these plastic bags at the Dollar Tree. I think you get two or three in a sack, but it's a great way to see your stickers so you can see what on earth is in there. That's a pretty green one. Um, oh, there's no green in that. Hang on. I'm trying to find something with blue in it. That's something. No. No. Bright colors, but I don't know. No, too boring. Um, digging. Digging. Oh, there's something with blue. And that's not the right blue. No. Uh, oh, the butterfly. Maybe we could just go completely. No. <laughs> All right. You? What are you? Sometimes I can't even tell what these things are. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, too dark. Okay, so if you want something that's kind of like a... Maybe that color? Oh, it's getting closer. Well, you know, you can have a thousand stickers and not have the right one. How about that? This one? Yeah, it's sort of pretty. I want something flowery, though. Dude, you're kind of flowery. No. 
Oh boy, can't decide on the sticker tonight, huh? What about that? No. <laughs> it's just one of those nights. You know how it goes. That? Oh, that's kind of pretty. It's got yellow and pink and a little bit of blue. All right, let's do that one. Found it. Found it. It was just hiding on me. Okay. So, now we could go across. We could go up and down. I think I'm going to go maybe on an angle. Yeah. Okay. Are you close enough? Can you see? Okay. So, let me go ahead and remove the sticker from the backing. So I've been saying how good I am at this now. I should never say that. I know better. Okay. It is separating from self. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see the separation and I'm after it. Okay, let me go this way. I better luck this way. All right. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Don't give up. Oh, I had it. What? Okay. Yeah. All right. Come on. Oh, yeah. Right there. Okay. Good. <laughs> Uh, am I the only one? Huh? Huh? Okay. I was going to go on an angle, right? Okay. There we go. All right. So you want, there we go. Now we are together. So let me get a little piece of, uh, let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. All right. Okay. So I got this nice little, uh, piece of, um, writing paper. Mm, let's see. We could go this way. We could go that way. You're pretty long. Let's try just folding you in half and see what happens. Oh, it would be nice if I could fold nicely. Yes, yes, Holly, sing it. Sing it. Bring it home. All right, so if all goes well, this will just slide nicely in there. If it doesn't go well, it'll all tear to oblivion. Okay, not bad. So there I go. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Oh, okay, there you go. All right, so now I can go adhere that to a journal page, and that would look really cute. So I would just maybe glue the back of this on to the page. Maybe I'll put a, like a little stamp or something up there, you know, a little something. Um, how about this? I bet there's enough uh, ink on here. I don't even have to. Nothing. How about that? <laughs> All right. I heard you. Not funny. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe a little funny. Okay. Can you see? Sometimes I don't know if I shoot off screen here. Okay. Spring. There. Oh, that's very nice. See, that's just what it needed. Hmm? Very cute. Yeah. All right. So that's as easy as it is. And that takes up an entire journal page and uh, you're moving right along and life is good. So it can be that easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, and you can use up your doilies. What time are we at? I got one more doily to show you here. I've got this gold one that I put a button on and it is the traditional envelope fold. So um, let me find a gold one. Here's a gold one. All right. And uh, these are thicker. They're kind of tinfoil gold. Yes, 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 they are, Holly. Yes, yes, we're going to do super squeaks tonight, are we? Yes. Okay. Um, the fire alarm went off the other night, and now Holly is our my, uh, my feathered fire alarm. Yes, yes, he is. He's like, hey, Mom, let me, let me uh, show you my new sound. How, how awesome how is this? Don't you love it? Don't you want me to do that all morning and night? I can, <laughs> and I will. <laughs> yes, yes, son. Yep. Okay, so that basically in, um, I take it just to the edge of the circle. For some reason, that just seems to be my, my little uh, landing spot. And take the bottom up, okay? Decide where you want it to go, and then make your fold. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then get your favorite glue of choice. I'm using Fabrifix, the clear silicone glue. Um, all right, there we go. And I'm just going to intensify my folds there a little bit, giving it nice crispness. Crispness is nice. And I didn't say Christmas. I said crispness. Yes. I know we're all thinking Christmas because, you know, one person had to say the C word and then we all go down the rabbit hole of, oh my God, we got to start preparing for Christmas. But don't forget about fall. Fall is a season all of its own and deserves its glory. And uh, I love fall, actually. I, it's like the beginning of the cooling in Florida. So it's kind of a bit of, ah, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, so we, we do a lot of that <laughs> kind of sound when we first get those, those little cool winds. Okay, I'm going to bring my upper flap down. I give a little space. I don't fold it right to here. I maybe fold it um, maybe half an inch above the top of the bottom lip, if that makes sense. All right. Okay. Here we go. Hoping for straight. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so that kind of swung out a little bit there. I have no idea why. Maybe I need to just reorient it a little bit. Okay, I'll try that. This is kind of a tinfoily feel, so it's going to give me a second to reorient. Oh, yeah, I think I'm okay. Yeah, that's that's better. Oh, you're far away again. Sorry. Um, there. Okay. Uh, so I have this uh, contrasting button, which I think might be fun to do. It's a little button that I decorated with the book page. And... Um, I think I'm just going to put that right there. Oh, Holly seems to greatly approve, so I'm moving forward. Yes, yes, son. Whatever you say. Uh-huh, my smoke alarm, son. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm plopping this down. Okay. And now I have this cute little envelope with a button. And now I can pop something inside here. And what do I have? What do I have? Um... I have this I could put that will fit in there, but I need to back it with something because it's a little thin. How much time I've got? Yeah, I got time to back it. Okay, we got time to back it. We can do it. Oh, let's see what I got. What I got. Okay, what's this? This is some coffee dyed paper. And that would be nice. Yes, yes, I can do that. Okay. That'll give me a little bit of a teeny little border around the edge, but not much, so I probably have to cut it off. That's all right though. Um, I might even sew it. So just to give it a little more strength. Um, so let me just put a little glue on here first and then I will tack it down. And then I will run over there and sew it and I'll be right back. All right, I am, I forgot to trim it. I'm trimming it first. I wanted you to see everything. Didn't want you to think I was doing anything without letting you know. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go sew it. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my little card that I just did. Um, and this is from my uh, vintage Seeds and Flowers digital kit. Seeds and Flowers ads, like advertisements from uh, Victorian times or olden, olden times, some, some other time. <laughs> Somewhere way back when, <laughs> a long time ago. Okay, um, oh, that's already all coffee dyed, so I don't need to do anything there. But do I want to put a little word or something? Maybe, maybe. Um, okay, where were those other words? Okay, we want contrasting words, so we want something maybe white that will show up on the coffee dye. And you could stamp something. You don't have to put anything there. How about make a difference? There we go. That's nice. This is in white, so I'm just going to put that there. Make a difference. There you go. I think that's from Tim Holtz. Thank you, Tim. Um, I bought it, but um, <laughs> thank you, Tim, for the great words. We do like that. You got us all rolling on the words thing. I'm going to slip this in here. So it's okay that th this part goes above because I can still get it, everything right inside nicely and it, everything folds over very well. Now the foil kind of holds the fold very nicely, so um, these two won't pop open or anything, so I don't think I need a paper clip or something on there. So let me pull over again what we made. So you can kind of see, give you ideas of what we did. Went to crazy town here with the doilies. This is like 101 uh, doily ideas. And I'm sure there's a lot more you can do with doilies. Um, doilies are kind of cool. Yes, they are. And uh, ooh, I think I just made this. Ah, don't touch them. All right, oh, probably shouldn't do this. Oh, oh okay, we're all right. That's good. And oh, I get some tickets here. Maybe I'll stick these in the other one because that might just look kind of cool. All right, where is it? Here it is. These should be dry by now. All right, what? Well, time check? Yep, we're good. Okay. Um, one of these days I'll get a camera or something where I can, I can record longer and not have to sweat about the time. <laughs> oh, crafting under pressure. No, no pressure allowed. No, no, no. Okay, here's this guy. Yeah. And then, oh, come on over. Come on over. Here's these guys. Oh, we did a lot. See, we did a lot in a little period of time. Those guys, can you see all that? Let me stand up. Mike. Oh, no, I can't see anything. All right, there you go. All right, here's what we've done. Yeah. Oh, maybe dragging it through. Okay, it's pretty much dry. We're okay. And, uh, okay, I'm not trying to... Oh, I see what's going on. Hey, uh, okay. Uh, and, oh, we made these guys just for fun because they were easy. So yeah, lots of ideas with doilies. So um, have fun with your doilies. Um, pull them out if you forgot about them. I completely forgot about mine. Um, another thing that you can use with doilies is um, if you have a bigger one, you can, this is a really pretty one, isn't it? I would probably fold this one in half and use it as a page in my book because it's just so pretty. I would just want to 
honor it and enjoy it. So if you have a taller one that's still within your boundaries of your journal, that's something else you can do. Um, so if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification bell. Welcome to everybody new, and hello to everybody who's been hanging out for a while. I'm uh, so appreciative of you guys uh, spending time with me, and I love sharing time with you, and uh, it makes me feel like I'm not so darn alone in my craft room. Well, got Holly over there, but you know. <laughs> He's not so good with the paper and glue. Um, my um, uh, links to uh, my favorite tools and supplies are in my uh, description box below the videos. And uh, just click on the Amazon store link and it will open up all sorts of uh, things for you to look at. My vintage digital kits are found in my Etsy shop, link below. Um, come and uh, sign up for my newsletter, which is a monthly emailed newsletter. It's free. You get uh, tips on making junk journals. You get a free digital image you can download, a checklist of supplies, plus also a note from the bookmaker link. And uh, so something you can tuck into the front of your junk journals. Uh, and you can use this as it is or change it at will, whatever you like. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Podcasts, which are audio, new material, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's free to listen to. The link is also down below. But if you have Apple um, Podcasts or Spotify, you can listen on those as well as I think there's like eight platforms you can listen on. And um, I can be found on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. And come and join that Facebook group if you haven't done that already. We're doing weekly and monthly challenges. It's not obligatory. You can do whatever challenge you want. If you want to skip three, you can skip three. It's totally your choice and you can morph them any way you want. You, there's no have to's. It's just all about stimulating creativity, having fun, and you can get lots of questions answered. There's a lot of people on there with a lot of uh, great knowledge and inspiration. And we love to share ideas. And I learned so much from the Facebook group. I mean, just like wealth of ideas. So um, come on over. You're welcome to lurk too. And just remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.